Hey, hey, happy travelers. We just returned from a wonderful stay at Sandals Royal Barbados, which is right next door to Sandals Barbados. That's right, two Sandals locations for the price of one in Barbados. We had an awesome time there. I want to encourage you to check out our playlist if you're interested in more content from Sandals Barbados, Sandals Royal Barbados. We have daily videos. We're going to have the full resort tours for each of those resorts. But for today's video, we want to go ahead and show you our room that we stayed in, our accommodations, give you the full tour of that. Now, we actually stayed on the Royal Barbados side of things, which is club and butler level only. And for our room, we were in a category OSLB, which is the Royal Seaside, Ocean View, Crystal Lagoon, club level, Barbados Suite with balcony tranquility soaking tub quite a mouthful there but it was a pretty awesome room so let's go ahead and get it started we'll give you the full tour show you everything it has to offer that begins right now so our specific room is 8204 you can see it illuminated there we do have our doorbell down below which will actually change colors red and green i'll explain that in just a minute have our nice big wooden door here let's head inside so right when we come in we'll look back at the door you see we have our pretty standard door setup. They have the deadbolt, the swing lock, and then the peephole with the cover, as well as safety information posted on the door itself. Now on the opposite side of the bathroom, you see here we have this door, which I believe is just for like maintenance or housekeeping. Uh, but remember I talked about the different lights on the doorbell. This is where those come into play. Do not disturb. If you turn that on, that will make it red outside. If you hit housekeeping, that's green. So obviously do not disturb means you don't want anyone coming in. If you hit green for housekeeping, it means housekeeping can come in, club sandals, whoever needs to come in and assist you with anything they would be then welcome to do so next to that we do have our closet this is a pretty good size here extra pillows and linens up above we do have several hangers pant hangers and everything our iron and ironing board are tucked back here on the right and then you see our sandals robes of course for each traveler in the room to use during your stay have the nice luggage rack down below lots of storage space as well as our safe you can put in your four digit code there. i think it's a four digit code yes and uh, it's actually pretty good size like that'll that'll fit a laptop no problem plus a lot of other stuff and a laundry bag should you choose to utilize laundry services during your stay all right so right off the entry here we can enter into the bathroom area and did want to point out it's this nice big sliding almost like a barn door but it's not just a glass door but it's huge it slides over it has to be huge because the bathroom itself is huge right when we come in we'll see this hanging hook here and one on the other side as well. This is, our, of course, our shower. Got the shower head up there, got the lights up above. Looks like there's even a mini rainfall shower up top, which is pretty interesting. And then you see that window, it looks like it's just kind of covered. That's a piece of art out in the bedroom. I'll show you that in a minute. It actually slides over and you can look straight out uh, to the rest of the room there. So there we have our built-in bench, also some built-in shelves with uh, light lit up shelves there and you have your controls over here on the right side right when you go in now around the corner here we'll find our toilet as well as some towel racks and a cool picture of a monkey love the big turtles on the wall as well on the accent wall with the wood paneling very nice have our trash can down below there our towels are stored on the shelf below the sink nice big towel rack going across the vanity area and this is a double sink all built into one drain but the two faucets there you do have built-in shelves on either side as well as the illuminated mirror on either side makeup mirror in the middle you have your tissues over to the left and then your red lane spa amenities stored here in the middle included with your room of course and again the mirror and shelves on that side you do have a outlet here gfi outlet right there oh it's actually on both sides we have it on both sides so lots of outlet options if you need to use something electronic here in the bathroom all right, let's head into the main part of the room now. The first thing we'll find on the right here is our bar area. You see our coffee machine, tea kettle, mugs, and then all the things that you would need, the mixes and creamers and tea bags and sugar, stuff like that, all on the little tray there. Up above, we do have our different kinds of glasses, standard glasses, big glasses, wine glasses, champagne glasses, stirring sticks, napkins, coasters, ice bucket, and then up top is the liquor. This is a club level room, so that's gonna be included in the room here. If you were in a butler level, you would have premium drinks included. Down below here in the cabinet, we'll open this up and we will find first on the left some storage, a couple of nice cubbies there, which is cool. And then we'll find our stocked 
mini fridge so you can see they'll have sodas water beer wine different things and you can let them know your preferences and they can fill it as such right next to the bar we'll find i guess it's a full length mirror it is it's just a shelf built into the middle of it there which is pretty interesting trash can down below help keep things clean and then we have our thermostat uh posted on the wall there nice digital display control the temperature of the room Next to that, we find our television, nice big size mounted up on the wall there. I really like the wood style that's coming up behind that. And then down below that, we have our flat top and our dresser area. So these are nice drawers, nice big size on either side, soft clothes as you can see. Then you have the two smaller ones in the middle and then a bigger one down below as well. Up top, you'll find your welcome letter, the uh, platinum protocols of cleanliness breakdown, how they clean the room, sanitize it. Remote for the television, of course. Nice welcome gift here. Nice fruit plate, uh, fruit tray, and some plates and napkins and things like that to enjoy that with. So that's very much appreciated. And moving on, we do have a nice little uh, dining table, I guess you could call it, with an ottoman and chair. I think you could probably use the ottoman as a seat, should you choose to do that. And then they have the QR code for the in-room dining menu because this is a club level room. You will have room service included during the hours of operation. If you're in a butler room, you would have that 24 hours a day. Love the artwork throughout the room as well. Uh, this is really nice, like the colors on that light up above there. Did want to point out, there are a couple of outlets next to the TV stand there if you need to plug something in. And now we'll turn back to the other side of the room. So there's the piece of art that I was talking about. There's the artwork. You see the slider up above? I'm not kidding you when I say that you can slide this over and it looks right into the, right into the shower and the rest of the bathroom there. And here's the view from the other side, inside the shower. It's kind of nice. Take a shower, watch some TV, sit on the bench, watch TV, look out. Why not? We do have a bench at the end of the bed. Speaking of the bed, nice king size there. Very good. And then you have the nightstands on either side, although this one's pretty much just a dresser. <laughs> that is pretty large. Uh, nice drawers over there. Two larger ones. Oh, it's actually like a small, medium large going on on that side and uh, over here as well just the drawers aren't as wide on this side you will find the phone and the pen and paper if you need to write anything down now both sides of the bed do include two outlets as well as two usb outlets right there in the uh, outlet brick area as well as reading lights that you can turn on here and point wherever you need them to be. So again, both sides of the bed are going to include that. You do not need adapters if you're coming from uh, standard American outlets. They'll just, those will work just fine right there on either one of those. Now on this one, you do have the, on this nightstand or dresser, you do have the iHome alarm clock or where you can play music. It does have a couple USB ports in there as well. And there's another mirror here with a built-in shelf. I like the birds flying over the bed there. Very nice touch. Uh, over here on the right side of the room, or closest to the balcony, I guess you could say, of the fish art and the lights hanging up above, very nice. We do have our couch here with those nice colored pillows there, bringing some cool accents into this room. Nice, pretty big size couch too. And then you have the coffee table here in the middle. Wanted to point out there's also an outlet snuck behind the couch there if you need to plug in something while you're on the couch. And we can see here out to our balcony. Now you do have the day shears, which are drawn right now, but you also have the blackout curtains that you can pull all the way across and then close that out. So let's head out to the balcony. And before we do, I wanted to point out the logo on the door here. There we go. That's a little easier to see. The flying fish, that's the logo of the resort. So we have a nice dual sliding glass door. That one goes that way, that one goes that way. And you can head out to this absolutely massive balcony. Got the table and chairs set up here. There's an outlet out here as well. Lights, if you're gonna come out at night, you even have a ceiling fan up above. How awesome is that? Got some nice baby turts artwork there with your accent wood wall. And of course, below that, your tranquility soaking tub with the built-in shelf right there. If you need to place something, you can enjoy this out on your balcony. This particular one is overlooking the gardens, overlooking to the next building where they do have the French restaurant and the sky bar, all of that stuff up there. Down below us, we do have a swim up pool for the swim up rooms. And so we can enjoy the waterfalls down there, get that nice serenity. And of course, if you want privacy, you do have these big curtains those slide all the way across there from either side. So it's nice because you can close the curtains for privacy or you can take in the beautiful view. 
whatever you choose to do. Well, there you have it. That is the tour of our accommodations at Sandals Royal Barbados. Once again, if you're interested in more content from Sandals Barbados or Sandals Royal Barbados, I want to encourage you to check out that playlist. You'll find the daily videos and the resort tour for each of those resorts. And if you're interested in heading to Sandals and Barbados, maybe the Royal side, maybe the other side, or you want to go to another Sandals throughout the Caribbean, or maybe you want to take the family to Beaches, that Sandals family brand, we can make any and all of that happen. As travel advisors, we partner directly with Sandals. We love the relationship we have built with them and we would love to help get you there so you can experience it and best of all it's completely free to you to utilize our services so feel free to reach out via that travel agent information that you can find in the description of this video if you've recently booked your sandals or beaches stay within the past 14 days you can transfer your booking to our agency and then we would be able to assist you the rest of the way that is also completely free to you so we hope we'll hear from you soon once again, I want to thank you for joining us for today's video. We'll see you next time. Happy travels!